Hey guys, so I was out there in my landscape this morning and I was transplanting some young rhododendrons into different areas to make room for other rhododendrons and doing some pruning and I thought I had to take the opportunity to show you guys what I'm doing here. So when you're transplanting young rhododendrons or really any other type of landscape plant, especially this time of year in the spring when the new growth is already starting to come out, you run into a problem. You actually have to sever the roots around that plant, unless it's a really small plant, but most of the time you're going to have to sever the roots from that plant if it's been established for a couple of years in order to transplant it. And by doing that, when it's in the growing season, you're essentially doing surgery on the plant when it's awake. This causes a problem because now you've got this new growth that is just soft and supple and it can wilt over really easily and now you've also severed some of the roots so it doesn't have as much of a, a water uptake ability to support that top growth. So when you're doing the transplanting, you've got to prune them back. And I know it's hard because you've got that beautiful new growth, but that's what I've been doing. I've been transplanting and moving some rhododendrons and I've been hacking them back a little bit. I'm going to take you out there and show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so this is one of the rhododendrons that I'm talking about here. And this is Mrs. Charles E. Pearson, absolutely beautiful variety. And you can see it's in a giant pot now. I think this is like a probably a 15 gallon, maybe 20 gallon pot, something like that. Anyway, I pulled this up out of the ground out there in the landscape because I wanted to make room for another beautiful variety. And I'm kind of running out of room for right now until I open up more ground. So I needed to pull this up. I've already got plenty of them planted out on the landscape. And when I pulled it up, I dug around the roots to make a nice root ball, but then I had to sever off a whole bunch of the roots around the plant. And you can see the new growth. So we're in, what is this? I think the second day of June here, and it's got a ton of new beautiful succulent growth, but it's softwood. And these things need a ton of water right now to maintain their growth and to stay turgid. And you can see these guys are wilting over because I had to chop back some of the roots. Well. I potted it up into a bigger pot and put a lot of good mulch in there and watered it really, really well. And you definitely have to do that. So I'm going to figure out another place to put this. But in the meantime, in order to keep this guy alive, I'm going to have to water really, really well. Now I want to do an experiment on this and see if I just leave these leaves on, if they're going to recover. I think they will over time if I keep plenty of water on there, but I'm kind of pushing my luck. and. Uh, We'll see what happens. I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated on that. But you can see these guys are wilted over a lot because they don't have as big a root ball to support the top growth here. So let's go out in the landscape and show you what I've done with the plant that I actually transplanted into that spot because that plant had a ton of new growth just like this one, but now it's transplanted into the ground and I had to hack all that new growth back. All right, guys, don't mind all the traffic we've got out here, but this particular roadie I've got planted out in my landscape now, obviously, and this is one I got at a friend's house. It's a beautiful variety, and I wanted it over here, but they had it growing in their landscape, and we did some trading. So he came in with the tractor and scooped it up from under the roots and pulled the roots up, and it was a huge root ball, but it ripped a lot of roots off of it. And this thing was probably another foot and a half high with all kinds of new growth. But as you can see, I prune this sucker back hard. Now, these leaves here are last year's leaves, or some of them are even the year before, so they're waxy and they're strong, and they're not gonna lose moisture quickly. So this guy's gonna have a chance to put root growth down and not focus on all the new growth that it had going on up here. So once it gets established well, it'll have a lot more potential for growing big and beautiful. Now, I only cut it back about halfway, cut all the new growth off and some of the older growth to kind of try and round it out a little bit. But there are plenty of buds that I left on there so that it would have plenty of points where it could start putting new growth on. Now here's another variety that I actually got from a friend and I basically did the same thing or actually he did it. The roadie wasn't looking too special and so he ended up packing back a huge branch here, another one up here and just cut them way back and this guy got butchered back to the to the more mature leaves here from probably a couple of years ago but you can see they're strong and solid and they've got that waxy substance still on them so they're not going to lose a lot of moisture and that worked out great because 
I need this root system to establish. I'm in a nice shady area. It's probably about 60% shade in this area. Right now the sun is coming through a little point here between the trees, but otherwise it's going to be well protected and it should put on lots of nice new growth. You can see it's got buds. Let's see if we can get something where you can see this. It's got nice buds down in here. There's one right there. There's a few along this branch. We've got a couple over here, but those buds should shoot up and start growing on. By the end of summer, this will be a fuller, healthier, beautiful looking rhododendron. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you what's been going on here with these little plants that we pruned back and transplanted. But if you look here, it's been a couple weeks now and all the new little buds are starting to shoot off. So I just wanted to show you that before I got this uploaded. Lots of new little buds starting to emerge. You can see they're swelling and they're wanting to just shoot off and they're going to grow nicely uh, in the landscape here. These guys are going to really fill out this plant. Look at that. All of these little buds are starting to swell. This guy is going to recover just fine and it's going to just take off. Look, some bigger ones down here, down below. And you can see there's some new little buds that are coming from way down on, on uh, really old branches here. But this guy's going to take off and it's going to do just fine. Now here's that other variety, Arnold Palmer, that I got from my friend. And you can see it's starting to do fine too. Remember those little buds that were just back here? Uh, they're starting to really swell as you can see and shoot off here. We got one back in there and then three up front here. This branch too, we've got lots of new growth. These buds are just going to take off and put on tons of huge growth. I'll have to show you this later on in the season, end of the year. Uh, sometime closer to the fall when all this new growth is shot off, but this guy is recovering beautifully. Now, one of the things that I've noticed about rhododendrons, which this guy is doing the exact opposite, is if you cut off a branch down below all the leaves, like if you cut it right here, a lot of times I find the buds below don't like to take off and grow as well. They'll go back to a spot kind of like here, where there's more leaves, but this one's proven me wrong. It was actually snipped back here and there were no leaves. And so I thought it was gonna, this would all die back and it would start shooting off here, but it's not. It's actually, all these buds are starting to form and they're gonna shoot off right here, right out in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of this dead end branch here. Pretty cool though, seeing all that new growth shoot up there. All them buds are swelling and this is gonna be a beautiful, healthy plant. All right, there's one more thing I want to show you guys, and it's this one right here, the Charles E. Pearson. Remember, I was showing you I dug this guy up in the landscape to make room for the other one, and those leaves were just wilted over. Those branches were just kind of falling down there, but it bounced back and it did fine. So <laughs> go and prove me wrong, huh? Uh, anyway, the, the only downside to this, doing it this way and not pruning these guys back was I had to water excessively. I was watering a ton in the beginning just to keep those, those uh, branches popped up and doing well. But this is a really hardy variety too. It can take real cold weather. Um, it can take you know, some sun, a little bit more sun. And you know, it's, it's just, it's a hardy variety. It's gonna bounce back and not have real problems. You might not do so well with some of these other more tender hybrids, but, but yeah, those leaves, man, they're just out of control. These branches are beautiful. You can see where it started to wilt here. You can see it, they've got some crook to them, some of them, because they, they started to suffer a little bit, but they bounced back. So I'm excited about this. I'm gonna have to keep it water. You can see that, that soil down in there is real moist because I've been watering it like heck, but I may come along here and chop this branch off and that'll help send more nutrients up to the top growth. But, uh, it worked out great, guys. So as you guys can see, it's really important to cut off that new growth if you're gonna transplant young rhododendrons or really any other landscape plant at this time of year when it's got new growth coming on and you've gotta cut back some roots. Cut off that new growth and let it get established in the ground and then it will reward you for years to come after that. I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like the video. Subscribe if you wanna follow along and see more videos this spring about landscaping and plants and all kinds of other fun gardening stuff. So. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. Want to check out the roadie progress? Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? All this nice, new, lush, green growth all throughout this hoop house. 
absolutely beautiful. I love this time of year with all this new beautiful green growth. Check this out. Rhododendron pomegranate splash. That is a favorite of so many people. Absolutely beautiful.